temporary chairperson in the absence of the president and vice president. I'll second. I'll second. On the question. Aye. Any Aye. Next? Chairperson in the absence of the. Okay. All right. It's it's approved. Okay. Um, I will call this meeting to order at the Lackawanna County Land Bank. Um, today is Wednesday, June 9th. Um, can we stand June for the 8th. pledge? Oh, June 8th. June 8th. 8th. The agenda says 9th, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it does? It does, Ralph. I have 8th. Not on mine. Okay. What, what month are you in, Brenda? No, no, my agenda. The agenda I'm reading off. <laughs> Okay, ready? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ralph, can you do roll call? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Dominic is excused. Uh, Commissioner Shermack, excused. Uh, Mayor Chellick? Present. Mayor, Mrs. Gatto? Present. Mrs. Sacco? Present. Mr. Tobin? Present. And Mr. Patel? Right here. Oh, right here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, going through the agenda, um, we will start with discussion items, land bank, general update, and property disposition status, Ralph. Uh, what about the presentation of minutes, though, right? Uh, I uh, either Brenda has the wrong agenda or she don't have her glasses. No, I have the wrong agenda. All right, I, the next thing is opportunity for public to work on it. Right. Hold on, okay. I apologize. I apologize. Opportunity for public to address board agenda items only. Uh, the public had until nine o'clock this morning to send anything in, and I did not receive anything. Okay, thank you. Okay, presentation mm -hmm. of the minutes for approval. Did everyone have an opportunity to review the minutes? Yep. Yes. Any questions? No. Nope. I move the minutes be accepted as presented. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, minutes pass. Um, presentation of vouchers for examination and approval from May 12th, 2022 through June 8th, 2022. Has everyone had an opportunity to look at the vouchers? There yes, was... there, were, there, there were only two for our legal yeah. services and for uh, one, uh, one recording of a repository deed. Okay. Um, do I have a motion um, to approve the vouchers? I'll, I'll make, make the motion, motion to approve the vouchers. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, vouchers um, pass. Next is the bid openings. Um, if we have any, do we have any, Ralph? Uh, no bid op openings for this meeting. Now we will move on to the discussion items. Uh, land bank property disposition update, Ralph. Okay. Uh, to date, the land bank has conveyed 220 properties countywide in the city of Scranton alone, 168 properties. Uh, there's four properties pending in the city and uh, eight properties will be considered uh, at today's meeting. Uh, the, the board has a breakdown of everything uh, as far as uh, properties within the city of Scranton uh, by neighborhood. Uh, in, in, in Covington Township, we've conveyed 31 properties to date. Uh, Carbondale City, 15, Van Ling, 1, Feld Township, 1, Troop Borough, 1, Scott Township, 1, Thornhurst, 1, and in Jefferson Township, we have one property pending. Does anybody have any questions on any of those uh, dispositions? Okay, uh, next is new interest in the land bank. Uh, since the last uh, 
board meeting, we haven't had any new interest. So. Okay. Um, next is our blight task force update. Morning, Brenda. Uh, uh, yeah. Ralph, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, <laughs> Gerard, I was just going to call on you just to give us a little update on that. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Gerard Hetman here from NeighborWorks Northeastern Pennsylvania, filling in for Jesse Ergot during our meeting this morning. Uh, so just one item to note uh, this week, uh, ongoing at the moment, is our Scranton City Pride campaign, uh, presented in conjunction between our organization and our partners at Scranton Tomorrow, and with the assistance of United Neighborhood Centers, the City of Scranton, and numerous other community partners. Uh, so the program uh, sees cleanup and beautification activities take place throughout the city in each neighborhood, as well as the city's downtown area. Uh, so we've tried to work some land bank properties into the mix with that. Um, some projects have been added and some have been changed as we've gone. Uh, part of that is weather dependent and also dependent on volunteer groups that we are able to coordinate with and mobilize to tackle these projects. So we'll be able to offer a broader snapshot and a complete snapshot of our results with that um, at the next meeting. So please stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot of good projects in the mix and again, where we can hit land bank properties, we certainly do, but it depends on the interest and the availability of uh, participating volunteer groups. So stay tuned and we'll pre present more information after this concludes next month. Thank you. Yeah, Gerard. Gerard, thank you very much for, uh, for getting some of those more visible properties. You appreciate it. Thanks. All the best. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you for um, your assistance and uh, for NeighborWorks assistance as well. Uh, the next is advisory committee property acquisition disposition discussion. Ralph? Yeah, if everyone wants to just take a look at their, uh, their papers regarding land bank property discussion. Uh, the, the first, uh, uh, property, uh, the first properties we'll be talking about is uh, properties. Uh, we received a, an application from uh, uh, Newton Road Realty LLC. They recently purchased about 30 some acres up right off of uh, West Mountain uh, Road up in, uh, it's still in Scranton. And there was five repository properties that are kind of adjoining uh, these properties. So they've sent an application to purchase these properties through the land bank. And uh, the list of properties are right there. And for the two larger properties, they offered $500 and the two, the three smaller ones would be considered silots. So they would be uh, $150 each for a total of 1450, but they're going to join these into hopefully join these into the whole development up there. They want to put a residential development in that area. So and they, I know they're working with the city right now to, to accomplish that. Uh, any questions on, on that? No, I, I think this is, you know, exactly what the land bank is about, um, you know, taking properties, um, developing them and putting them in the tax roll. So I think this would be a, a, a great project to be part of. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, moving down a little, these are, uh, if everyone wants to just take a look at the two properties at 510 O'Connor Court and 514 O'Connor Court, this is in the rear of River Street received an application from Mr. Thomas Hoppel, who owns uh, three of those row homes in the front on River Street. Uh, these two properties would be considered side lots. Uh, they are two, the ones out, outlined in yellow. Uh, their dimensions are like 16 by 80, and he just wants to use those as parking for his tenants for the, uh, for the apartments in, in the front there, so. Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. Next one is, uh, this one I failed to put where it's located. It's in uh, Covington Township at Eagle Lake Estates. It's at Warbler Drive, S5-546. Uh, uh, Mr. Amos Vered, who resides in Clark Summit, and wants to purchase this property for recreational use up at Eagle Lake. And he submitted an offer of $500 for, for this property. Does anyone have any questions on that? Okay. Uh, and Gerard, Gerard, as the representative from uh, the advisory committee that we did review 
all these properties and and there was uh, they are in agreement with these correct Gerard that's correct Ralph yes yep yep okay I guess uh, Brenda that's that's just a review of the properties now I guess we'll just move on to the res resolutions that include these properties to be acquired and disposed of okay so under action items, new business, um, resolution number 22-022. It's a resolution approving the acquisition of property from Lackawanna County Tax Claim Bureau repository of unsold property. Um, the properties are 229 West Mountain Newton Road, Scranton. Um, West Mountain Road, Scranton is parcel two. West Mountain Newton Road, Scranton is three. 28th Street, Scranton. Um, and then again, 28th Street, Scranton. Those are two separate parcels, correct, Ralph? Right, right. The, the, the pin numbers are there coinciding with them. Correct. Okay. Um, 510 O'Connor Court, Scranton. 514 O'Connor Court, Scranton. Wobbler Drive, S6-546 Covington Township. Do I have a motion approving the acquisition of these properties? Motion. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Resolution passes. Resolution number 22-023, approving the conveyance of certain land bank owned property under the property purchase program. Um, again, this would be 229 West Mountain Road, Scranton. Um, the purchaser is Newton Road Realty LLC for $500. Um, parcel address 28th Street, Scranton. And again, the purchaser is Newton Road Realty LLC for $500 and Warbler Drive S6546 Covington Township and the purchase is Amos Vered for $500. Do I have a motion to approve the conveyance of the land bank owned properties? I make the motion. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, resolution passes. Resolution number 22-024, approving the conveyance of certain land bank owned property under the side lot purchased program. Um, the address of 510 O'Connor Court, Scranton to Thomas Hopple for $150. 514 O'Connor Court to Thomas Hopple for $150. West Mountain Road, Scranton to Newton Road Realty for $150. West Mountain Newton Road, Scranton, again, a separate um, parcel to Newton Road Realty for $150. And then 28th Street, Scranton uh, to Newton Road Realty LLC for $150. Um, do I have a motion to approve the conveyance of these land bank owned properties? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution passes. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Uh, again, the public had until nine o'clock this morning and I did not receive anything. Anyone have any other um, uh, business for the order? All right. Well, our next meeting is Wednesday, July 13th at 11 a.m. Is that correct, right, Ralph? Mm hmm Okay. Do I have a motion for adjournment? I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a good Thank day. You, Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Brenda, do you have a second to stay on, Brenda? I'll call you. Okay. Okay, thank you.